Hey, this is Nathan Lemon with WCI Consulting, and this is going to be step two of creating a link in Salesforce to run a crystal report. And right now, I'm logged into the BI Launchpad. Here's the home page. What I'm going to want to do here is go into Documents and Folders and find that Salesforce report that I created. And all I'm doing here is right-clicking and getting the document link. And I'm going to want to copy and paste this, or copy it, and then go into Salesforce and click on my name and set up. And then this will allow me to create the link to my report. From here, I'm going to want to go to Customize, and then Home, and then Custom Links. And here I've already got it created, but I'll walk you through how to set it up new. I'm going to click on New. Create a label, just a Salesforce demo. And the description can be whatever you want. Display a new window. What this does here is you're telling it when you click on the link what you want to happen. If you want it to display in a new window or open up a new window, that's where it will be. If you want it to display in the existing window without a sidebar, it will just refresh the page and open a report and so on and so forth. And all I'm going to really do here is paste the uh, document link that I took from BI Launchpad. Uh, once this is done, you can hit preview to see if it'll work. And here it works. And as you see, it opened a new page. So now that I've seen that it'll work, I'll click save. And it didn't save because I already have this established. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And once this is all established, you should see it look, it'll look like this, where you can edit or delete. Once this is created, you're going to go into your home page components and you're going to set up a new home page component more or less that you can see when you're at your home page. So here I've already created the Salesforce demo. You can edit or delete it, but I'll click new so you can see the whole process. Just click next here and then name it and hit enter or next. And here you're going to choose the link that you want to bring in and just click Add and then Save. I'm going to click Cancel here because it's already been created. But once you click Save, it just brings you to this page where you see the link that you created. You can edit or delete. Once this is finished, you can go to Home Page Layout. And here is where you're going to set up how you see your home page, where you bring the link in, uh, where it is on the, on the side, or or where it is on your home page. Once again, I've already created it. Uh, you can edit or delete, but I'll go through the new setup. Here's new, call it custom, and save. And then here, it gives me the option to uh, of what I want to see when I open my home page. So I want to see my Salesforce demo, because that's the task that we're doing here. I'll go ahead and see the WCI logo and any messages and alerts. Click next. And then here it gives you the option for what order you want it in. So if you want your logo first, you go to the top. I want to see my sales demo next. So I'm going to order it that way. Then I'm going to click Save and Assign. And here is uh, where you set up who with what security can see what. So I'm a system administrator. I want to be able to see the custom that I just created. So I'm going to click that and Save. And then once that is done, I will click home and I should see my demo right there. There's the link. I click on it and it opens the report that I want. And if it's been a while and you haven't you haven't logged into BI Launchpad or you haven't refreshed through crystal, sometimes when you click on the link it'll ask you for your BI credentials. And at that point you'll just enter it in and it'll open up the uh, the crystal report. Or if you have Windows AD set up, then you just click on the link and it automatically opens and refreshes. That is pretty much the complete steps of how to uh, set up a, a link to Crystal Reports. Thank you.